Okay, you've made it through orientation. Now we're going to drill down on your big project for the summer. We loved the first graph you made where you showed us how we are only attracting female students to the Tiger Lily location. And in fact, you showed us that if you just look at the group of women who've attended classes at Tiger Lily, they outnumber the men in any other location except Owl Alley. So we want you to sift through our satisfaction data for Tiger Lily and see if there's a difference between how the men answer and how the women answer, particularly survey questions that drill down on how well the course achieved the students' objectives. We also want you to compare the satisfaction data for the men of Tiger Lily versus the men of Owl Alley. Owl Alley had more male attendees than any other location and was only 10 students off from being the location with the most students. We want you to do this using an independent t-test. The null hypothesis would assume that there's no difference between the two populations. The alternate hypothesis will be that there is some difference, but we're not sure whether it's positive or negative or what's driving it. That will be the objective of the second phase of your project, where you develop follow-up surveys for former students. Now we're going to walk you through the different aspects of the t-test. The first test you're going to run is to see that the both male group of data and female group of data that you're going to compare against each other are normal. And the way you do that is once you load your data set, you go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Explore. And then you'll see that there's a pick list for dependent list and a pick list for factors list. The factors list is going where you're going to put the field that represents male and female, that's B2. And the dependent list is where you're going to put your questions. We're going to start with question uh, six. So you slide those over. Then you hit statistics. Make sure that the confidence interval is 95%. Then you hit plot. Deselect stem and leaf, hit histogram, click normality, and then hit OK. And as you can see, first of all, for test and normality, they're not normal curves. It's significant, 0 0.0. You can also see that by looking at the histograms, that they're not normal curves. And if you look at the normal Q by Q plot, you can see that there's some deviation from the line, particularly on the ones and twos. Also, if you look at the box plots, you can see data again in the ones and twos that are outside of normality. The next check is going to be for um, variance of error. So you're going to go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate, and then you're going to put the B2 in the fixed factor, and you're going to put the I6 or the question in the dependent variable. Then you're going to want to click Options and click homogeneity test, and then hit continue. Also, significance is 0.05. So you're going to look for the Levine's test of equality of area and variances. And here you can see that it's not significant. It's greater than 0 0.05. Now you're ready to do the comparison of sample means. So you're going to go to Analyze, Compare Means, independent sample t-test. Your grouping variable is going to be B2, men against women. Your question is going to be I6, test variable. Click on grouping variable, click to find groups. Group 1 is 1 for men, group 2 is 2 for women. Hit continue. Options. And then OK. Now if you scroll down and look, Underneath independent sample test, and you look at significance, it's well greater than 0 
So the difference in this case between the men and the women for question six was not significant. You'll just run that same process for the other nine questions. So again, in this case, the null hypothesis stood. And then you'll run that same t series of tests for the re remaining nine questions. And we'll be able to see whether or not, as a whole, the alternate hypothesis won out.